What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to show you how to replace a valve cover gasket on an SR20 engine. Now I already have a video showing you how to do this, but honestly it's not the best so I did want to go ahead and remake that. Along with the valve cover gasket, I am also going to be replacing the spark plugs on this vehicle. So I do hope you find this information helpful. First, go ahead and remove the accelerator cable out of the way. Next, remove the spar plug wires. Get some pliers and remove these hoses that you see right here. There's one right here, one over here. And then also don't forget the PCV hose over there. On forward driving SR20s, you're going to have a wiring harness on the passenger side. Just go ahead and move this off to the side. This is going to expose a metal frame right here that you need to remove. There's two 10 millimeter fasteners, so go ahead and remove it. Next, go ahead and remove this ground wire that's attached to this bracket. There's a 12 millimeter fastener that you need to remove. There is 13 fasteners holding down the valve cover to the engine. They are all gonna be 10 millimeters. Go ahead and remove all of them. Just be careful when you guys are removing them because they do have grommets attached to them. The only fastener that is a different size is the one in the middle. So just keep that in mind, comparing that to the rest, you're gonna see that one of them is bigger. With everything out of the way, now you can go ahead and remove the valve cover. Now that we have the valve cover off, go ahead and clean off all the mating surfaces. You also want to go ahead and clean your valve cover as well. So make sure that you clean all the channels where the valve cover gasket sits in. Before you install your new gasket, go ahead and apply some of this black RTV on the half cut shapes right here where the valve cover sits. You want to do this on both sides because it can cause a small leak. Install the replacement valve cover gasket. Now that you have your valve cover gasket and your valve cover back on, go ahead and put all the fasteners on. You just want to hand tighten them down for now because there's a special torque procedure that you need to do to ensure that there's no leaks. This is the torque pattern that you need to follow to ensure that you don't have any leaks. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth. 
you need to follow that pattern and what you should do is tighten them down with a quarter inch ratchet. These get torqued down to 8 to 9 newton meters. You want to make sure that you repeat that pattern about two times because by the time you finish tightening down number 13, the first bolt is going to be loose. So make sure to do it at least two times. Next, I'm going to remove the old spark plugs on the vehicle. Now it's time to install the replacement spark plugs. Here's a little trick that I learned. Go ahead and get an old spark plug wire and attach it to your spark plug. Use it to screw in the new spark plug without damaging it. Go ahead and torque your spark plugs to 15 foot pounds. Now you can go ahead and put everything back together. If you did find the information in this video helpful, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider it for more videos like this. I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.